my dear friends here we are back again one of our weekend videos uh, it's been a pleasure to meet you and talk to you again uh, this uh, special day here in Rome we have the G20 uh, so we have all the leaders of the world here so the, the city it's uh, kind of uh, blocked you know it's no its part so we haven't got so many people coming by because uh, everything is closed uh, it's not easy so but it's the perfect time of course to talk about pens this time I'm gonna show you uh, some pens coming from uh, a partnership among an Italian company that you know very well and I mean Leonardo Officina Italiana and uh, Jonathan Brooks and this marvelous uh, stunning unique uh, resins uh, made in the US uh, the primary manipulations resins which uh, have become very popular uh, for its colors and its beautiful blend of uh, miscellaneous colors I would say that are really really stunning I put to emphasize the beauty of this pens I put in this nice wooden box that it's made in Italy and we have uh, we are proud and very happy to uh, start a relationship with this uh, uh, company that comes from uh, the region of Marche in uh, in the north uh, not north in the mid uh, eastern part of uh, Italy um, and uh, this is a nice box in wood with uh, that holds uh, 20 pens it has a nice additional tray uh, so 10 10 20 pens uh, the closure of this uh, drawer is uh, the final it's uh, a magnetic one so it it is drawn inside uh, automatically and we have a nice uh, view of the pens uh, through this glass window here we are and now let's look at these beauties here we have uh, the last uh, collection the last editions of um, the private manipulation Leonardo Momento Zero Grande uh, you can see how wonderful they are the two colors the warm tones which is the red orange white blend of colors and the mother of pearl where we have a uh, green gray white gray pearlescent and black and some hints of blue uh, and red inside uh, these beautiful resins which of course uh, as it's evident from uh, how they are made uh, they are completely unique each piece it's uh, completely uh, exclusive unique there is no one equal to the other uh, so that's why many of you ask me of course when they reserve a piece to have a great look at it to choose uh, which pattern is more suitable for uh, uh, its, own, uh, its own taste. Um, so let's uh, take a look, a closer look to these beautiful pants where we can choose among the yellow gold trims and the rhodium trims. And of course, then we will have, I will show you the different sizes of uh, the nips that are available. We have a range that's uh, of the 14 carats sol solid gold nips. Uh, a range that varies from extra fine to uh, um, fine, medium, broad. And then we have the two, uh, a stub, uh, of course, stub 1.1, and uh, two elastic nibs, uh, two flexible nibs, uh, fine and extra fine. And here we are, let's open one. Let's start with these beautiful warm tones. I'm gonna help Patricia showing this turning the pen so you can see how beautiful it is the pattern how it changes it is like a flame coming from from a bucano i would say it's it's really nice the blend of colors uh, and i love the geometric uh, engraved carefully handmade engraving of this band oh wow yeah it's beautiful and let's open the pen we have uh, we all know very well that uh, this uh, 
um, Momento Zero Grande has a piston filling system with a high capacity system of 1.5 uh, milliliters. And this is the nice, beautiful, solid gold nib. Oh, let me put my glasses on. Sorry. Okay. And here we have, sorry, we're back in, uh, this is a medium tip. You can see a beautiful, this Jobo nib is made, especially how it is tuned by Leonardo to match perfectly with this lovely, stunning ebonite feeder that is produced in-house by Leonardo using pure Japanese ebonite. This wonderful feeder offers you a unique perf providing performance with a flow that is always constant and uh, very very uh, balanced I would say it's wet but not too wet it's really perfect from my point of view and now I'm gonna try one of these beauties for you and of course I will choose the one I like most, which is, if I have chosen this time correctly, yes, incredible, I remember the right one I wanted to take. This is the amazing elastic, extra fine elastic nib. You can see how beautiful the cuts on the sides of the, of the nib. Oh, here we have this lovely uh, elastic extra fine nib. The cuts on the sides are made to allow the bending of the nib when you pressure to get a calligraphy taste from this beautiful nib. And look at how beautiful are the colors of this pen on this mother of pearl how the whites and the pearlescent part blends perfectly with the greens and the red. Look at this green, this green part. Gorgeous. But the pens, of course, uh, they have to write. And they have to write very good. So let's see if this pen is not only beautiful, but But if it writes good, especially if we want, we want to use it for calligraphy. All oh, I've been too cautious. It needs a little bit more, this poor girl. She used to use for calligraphy. Purposes. So, if you wanna have a flexible style, Gorgeously, it is the nib that I adore, really, because uh, you write amazingly well. Just leave in the pen, touch the paper gently, as well as uh, having a good. Oh, sorry, it's finished. Having a good, nice flex taste of the pen. Rome is a beautiful city. Yeah, I think you all agree that this is a very worth the price pen. It's not an, a limited edition in the traditional way. It's not numbered. But uh, it has been made, of course, in a very few uh, batch 
offense, uh, not certified uh, officially, but I can assure you that they are not uh, in a big quantity. And uh, I will show you now the other uh, flexible nib, uh, the, the other elastic, the fine, uh, that you probably uh, know uh, before the other one because uh, the extra fun has been uh, a recent addition but this is the one we already knew of which is the fine and you can see the difference and uh, I will show you the difference with the extra fine if I will be able to manage to do that to do that so this is the this is the uh, elastic, elastic fine from Leonardo. I can tell you that the main difference, of course, it's uh, this is a little bit thicker. It's always so very soft, but the line comes out from the start without pressure a little bit thicker than the other one so personally i have to tell you that for calligraphy purposes i prefer the extra fine but this if you're not so keen on doing calligraphy it's perfect it's the perfect balance because uh, you can get a nice line very smooth uh, but always have the feeling of the flexible even if now it is empty because I'm just dipping it but I can assure you that this beautiful feeder when you use it with the pen uh, fully inked it's it doesn't dry out especially when you do it with calligraphy so it's really nice and enjoyable enjoyable Believe me, it's a, it's a, it's a very it's a, one of the best nibs I've ever tried. I am not exaggerating. I really adore these elastic nibs. So, so I would uh, suggest you to take uh, another look at these beautiful pants. Choose the nib that suits you mostly, and. Uh, Maybe give me a call <laughs> if you want one of these beauties for you. So this is another great uh, work that we have uh, had from uh, Leonardo. Uh, and uh, I think he will reserve for the end of this year some other fantastic news to end up this, uh, this difficult, uh, challenging year that we have had. In a, in a fantastic way so let's have uh, let's always uh, follow me and uh, see you next week for another chapter uh, of this uh, beautiful writing instruments world that we all share the passion with see you next time bye <laughs>